Hello and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Seven Brothers. Yeah, it's time for the second beer from Seven Brothers out of the ridiculously good looking box of beers that they sent me. Um, link to that whole unboxing video up there if you're interested. And this one is a honeycomb pale ale. Um, I've never ever had a honeycomb pale ale before. I've only had two beers from Seven Brothers before, both of which were incredible and both of which were pale. So this, you know, some stiff competition just against themselves at this point. Um, but this sounds honestly properly fantastic. I've not read any more into it. I just know that it's honeycomb and gonna be pale um, and that's it really. So let's take a look at the can and then we can get into it. I do love the multi finishes on this can, that nice mirrored seven. It's a bit clouded over now because it says cold and has been in the fridge, but just look at that. Quality artwork as always. Right then, let's do this. Um, I did get an aroma on opening, but I couldn't really tell you what it was, just a bit sweet. It's very pale. Nearly a crummy pour, not too bad today. Right, right, I mean, it looks like lager in the glass, I think you'll agree. Nice lot of carbonation rushing up from the bottom. Um, currently on a kind of two finger white head, I reckon that'll settle down to something a bit more uniform in a minute. Um, it's, I mean, the glass is fogging up, but it's pretty clear through it, I'll be honest, there's not much haze in there. Um, let's see what the aromas are like. Well, that's interesting. It's, um, the aromas aren't strong actually, um, so it means, despite me saying interesting, there's not actually a huge amount going on. It's that same subtle sweetness I kind of just got a whiff of when I opened the can. It's syrupy, sugary, malty. I don't think I'd instantly go honeycomb on the aroma had I not seen the can. I think I've got a more like, um, or is that honeycomb? That is. The, the centre of a crunchy, is that honeycomb? Are we talking, I mean, it depends whether we're talking about the artificial or like actual bees honeycomb, I guess. Uh, that bit in the middle of a crunchy, it smells, it smells like that. A bit of biscuit in there. A bit of like toasted marshmallow, possibly. And now it's starting to settle, there's just a faint, faint hint this is a proper pale ale, so a little bit of hop note coming through on the end of those, but it is absolutely minuscule. And that really is about it. So, let's crack into it. Cheers. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. That's, um, wow. That is liquid gold. That's how you make a pale ale. That is how. I know a lot of very hoppy, bitter pale ale fans. Bitter in the sense of bitter beer, not as in the bitter, in my opinion, of course. Um, we'll probably disagree, but for me, that that's how you do pale ale. That is... Oh. The amazing thing is, it is so different to any pale I've tried recently. Any that I can remember, really. Um, and yet, it's really quite subtle all around. It's not huge, bold flavours breaking through, smacking you around the face. I mean, like the, um, the uh, sticky toffee pudding and custard pale ale from Brothers that we did a few days back. Um, that, you know, that was big, bold flavours in pale ale. And that was impressive that that got to work you know, in a pale ale. But this is much more subtle. It's, still, it's just got a hint of sweetness, a hint of honey in there. Oh yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm blown away. That is simply incredible. And what's annoying me even more, not the beer obviously, because it's, it's brilliant, is that I was gifted this box from Brothers and I didn't pay for it, which I know I'm giving an honest review, but because they've given it me, I always feel like anytime anyone's gifted something, there's always a question hanging over their heads about how realistic they're being. I genuinely think this is insane. I would happily buy this over and over again. I will do, in fact. Let's just, I mean, come on. 
Right, before I get carried away and just drink the whole thing, top to bottom taste test. Initially, a small amount of carbonation on the front of the tongue. Tiny bit of sweetness, but it's not immediately obvious. It's only when you're really looking for it that you notice it there. Second phase is almost Pilsner-esque, super refreshing, just washing away the dryness of your mouth. It's kind of coats the mouth and it's not, it doesn't have any huge bold flavors, a bit malty, just a proper kind of low flavor beer, super refreshing. And then, then you get a big lick up the back of the mouth, in the back of the throat. And you just start to get a bit of a, a hint of what, what, where this is going. It becomes a bit sweeter. You start to get a bit of those kind of honey, uh, floral, earthy notes. A bit of that crunchy filling thing, like I said, kind of featured in the aroma. Um, and then a bit of a biscuity malt kind of finishes that out. But it's in the aftertaste where this really comes to the party. And the back of my tongue is just, as soon as you swallowed it, Gets a bit sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. Um, it's not too much though, really not. It's not heavily sweet, it's just a lot sweeter than most beers. And there's flavours that are just iterated are the same again. It's a bit of that kind of raw, earthy honey, a bit of that super sweet crunchy filling, and then a bit of biscuit at the end. Not getting much hops through. It is absolutely divine. Before I uh, smash this, let's take a look at the can. So, Seven Brothers, Honeycomb, sweet, Moorish, and tasty, you are damn right, 4% ABV. Um, again, on the back, it says Seven Brothers, Honeycomb, Pale Ale, 4%, 1.98 UK units in this 440ml can. It says, meet our sweetest beer, presumably that was written before they created the um, sticky toffee pudding and the custard pale ale that I had last time, because I think that was sweeter, but anyway. Uh, a perfectly balanced pale ale with carefully select hops infused with the essence of honeycomb, creating this extremely Moorish, unique pale ale. It goes on to say, Seven Brothers Brewing Beer, question mark. That's right, each of us look at things a little differently, but one thing we all agree on is brewing great tasting beer, sevenbrothers.com. Uh, seven Brothers, the T is spelt with a seven, if anyone wants to visit the website. Allergens are malted barley and wheat, uh, best before sea base. 14th to the 4th next year, so this has got a long time to go. Um, drink aware stuff, they're based in Salford, Manchester, and that is all it says. Um, I think that's all it needs to say. The beer really does the talking on this one. No nonsense, as I say. I mean, um, this is definitely more towards, um, I don't want to use the word synthetic, so that's not the right word. This is definitely more towards the confectionery honeycomb rather than um, actual beehive honeycomb if that makes sense to me anyway that's how it's tasting i feel like there's a bit of a nod to that real honey but it's very subtle it's not a proper honey beer it's more of a a sweet pale ale and i love it i think it's absolutely fantastic i really do i didn't notice there's even some nice pictures of some little cut out of bees at the top there look there you go um yeah i mean i don't know if i have anything else to say about it other than it's absolutely bloody brilliant I don't. That is astonishing, honestly. I mean, there's nothing else to say. I'm kind of sad that that's all I've got. I better go order some more. I think we'll leave it there. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't already, subscribe. If you will be so kind, I'll catch you next time. Cheers.